Hi, my name is Sebastian from Industrial Safety Systems at SIG. We have created a couple of tutorials about the basic functions of the FlexiSoft Designer, which we actually call the FSD. So to make it more convenient for me, I will use this term further on. The FSD is free of charge and can be downloaded on SIG.com. To make the tutorials more practical, we have chosen a small press as an example application. Here we will use three safety light curtains, actually mini twins, an e-stop, a reset and a restart. In this video I'm going to talk about the graphical user interface and the structure of the FSD. So when we start the FSD we see this screen. On the left side we can choose between starting a new project and opening an existing one. Or we can connect a hardware device with the PC. Here on the top navigation bar we can choose from 8 different languages. There are also many support contents on the starting page, such as the links to latest operating instructions, information on the latest version of the FSD and so on. I will now open an existing project, which I prepared earlier, to show you more about the interface of the FSD. Here is the main navigation bar. The different areas are arranged workflow oriented. So when configuring a FlexiSoft, you can just go from left to the right. Beginning with the hardware configuration at first, then the logic editor, then the report, next one is the diagnostics and at last there is the data recorder. The last two areas actually are only available if a physical device is connected to the PC. Right now we are already within the hardware configuration, so let's see how it is structured. In the center of the screen we have the main window, the configuration area. At the moment this is the configuration of the example application I created earlier. As the series of tutorials progresses we will create this configuration step by step. On the left we have a selection window with the different FlexiSoft modules. There are CPUs, gateways, I.O. modules and relays. By the navigation down here we can switch from modules to elements. The elements are ordered by type. We have input elements such as switches and sensors or output elements such as lamps, robots, motors and so on. The next step in the workflow is the logic editor. The structure here is the same as in the hardware configurator. In the center there is the main window again with the current logic. On the left side we find the selection window with the in and output types we configured earlier in the hardware configuration. To get to the outputs, just use the spot navigation. Here you can also find the function blocks. The third and last part in this tutorial is the report. In the main window, we see the automatically created report. On the left, we can adjust the report to our individual requirements. So with only one click, you have the full documentation of your FSD project. That's it so far for the first tutorial. You learned how the software is structured and got to know the graphical user interface. In the next episode I'm going to talk about the usability of the software and we will start to create our own configuration.